Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. So today I'm going to be working in my art journal. I've got this Talons Art Creation art journal and I've already created my first page in it. But I've decided what I'm going to do is as I create other pages in this, I'm going to make short videos just of my process uh, and how I like to do my journaling. So in a recent video, I created some washi paper on my gel press. And so that's what we're going to be using today. Uh, I've used the gorgeous uh, rainbow stencil from um, Rubber Dance. And I'm just going to trim this down using my Tim Holtz bladed scissors. I don't want a crisp, clean edge. But I just wanted to save some of the paper so that I can use that on another project. So I've just trimmed this down so it, and I'm just going to place it in the bottom right hand corner. As you can see, because it's washi paper, I can just peel off the backing paper and then I can just attach that down straight into my art journal. And of course, the great thing about washi tape is it's repositionable. So if you pop it down and you're not quite happy with it or it's not quite flush, you can easily just peel it back off and re adhere it down. So I've just brought in some more scraps from gel prints and also some washi paper and I'm just using some matte medium just to stick those down. If it's washi, pa uh, washi paper then I'm able to just take the backing paper off and just glue it down or if it's gel prints then I'm just adding some matte medium. I'm also adding a layer over the top as well just to seal it in on the page. Uh, I do like to use Ranger Multimedia Matte, but in that little bottle at the minute, uh, I have actually got some Indigo Blue um, Matte Medium. So um, I find that that's just as good, but I do find that the Ranger Multimedia Matte just holds everything in place. It's, it just a little bit, just seems a little bit more um, of a stronger matte medium. So, but anyway, I'm just using a paintbrush just to use that on. And there's no real rhyme or reason here. I'm just tearing off little bits and placing them down on my page where I feel that they would best be uh, placed. Now, if you missed the video where I created these gel prints and the washi papers, I'll try and link that video at the end um, so that you can uh, go and have a look over there if you wanna get some ideas for gel printing. Um, now, this washi paper, I used mainly the tickets, so I'm just cutting one of those out for later. Now, I'm just gonna tone it down a little bit by adding some white acrylic paint. Uh, I'm just dabbing this on with a paintbrush and then I'm just taking a little bit of the excess off with some tissue paper. There's a little bit of the um, paper coming up so I'm just using some quick grab glue just to attach that down. And then we're going to have to leave this page to dry. But before I do, I'm just going to trim from behind any excess paper that's overhanging. Once we've left this to dry, I'm then going to come in with a stencil. This is the Crosses stencil from Rubber Dance, and I've got some uh, Distress Crackle paste. And I'm just going to run some of that through using a palette knife. Um, again, once we've done this, we will just need to leave it to dry. Uh, but I did get a little bit impatient with the drying process. So I did come in with my heat tool just to try and dry that off a little bit quicker. You don't need to use it on the highest setting when you're uh, heat setting this. Uh, and as it starts to dry, you'll see the crackles forming. So, you know, you can then move on to another little section. And I have to say, I'm really impressed with how well the paper in this art journal is holding up to all these different mediums. Um, so you do get a little bit of um, warping with the heat, but not, uh, not at all like I expected. I'm then just coming in with the um, Mix It Up stamp set from Rubber Dance, I think it's called. I'll leave all the products linked in the description box below anyway. But I'm just going to do some black stamping there. I've then got this Violet uh, Brocade Nouveau Shimmer Powder and I've added a little bit of water in my palette and I'm just coming in with a paintbrush and I just want to add a few um, dribbles of paint uh, just to add a little bit of extra interest and a little bit of extra texture to the back of that page. I then just add a few little splatters to finish and then I come back in with my heat tool just to dry that off because again, I'm a little bit impatient. Once we've dried that off and the splatters are all dry as well, I'm then going to come in with my focal images. Now I've already gone ahead and watercoloured and fussy cut these elements out. These are from the Rubber Dance Sketchy Mushroom stamp set. I absolutely love these mushrooms. I just think they're great. They're so cute and quirky and of course you can colour them whatever way you want. So I'm just using a little bit of Cosmic Shimmer uh, clear glue just to attach those down. And then from the Mix It Up stamp set, uh, I've cut out that like postmark just for the background really. I've got a few extra leaves that I've already watercolored and fussy cut and I'm just gonna attach those down behind the mushrooms just to add a little bit of extra interest. And then 
once I've done that, I'm going to bring back in that ticket that we cut out earlier. And I'm just going to decide where I want that to go. Because that's on the washi paper, I can just peel the backing off and stick it down. And then I'm just going to add another one of those marks over that. Just to make the page a little bit more coherent. I'm then going to trim off the excess of that postmark. And I'm just going to stick that down on the other side of the page. Uh, again, just to save any waste and to add a little bit more interest. For a sentiment, I've got the Mix It Up uh, sentiment stamp set, uh, the 2023 clear stamp version, and I've just stamped this out. Uh, it's basically loads of random words in lots of different fonts, and then you kind of just build your own sentiment. It's a really versatile stamp set, uh, so I absolutely love this. I'm finding myself using this more and more. And basically, I'm just going to cut down a few of the words that I want. Uh, I choose to go with the word secret place, and I'm just going to trim those down and then attach those down into my into my journal page. Uh, again, I'm just using the quick grab glue. Uh, and I just love how versatile they are. There's so many different ways that you could put words and sentiments together. So I'm just going to go around the edge of that with a black Posca pen. And then I'm just going to add a few black splatters just to finish off the page. Once I've done that, I'm going to add some close-up photos so that you can see the completed journal page. So yeah, there's a really quick and easy page. I really hope that you've enjoyed watching this process. Let me know in the comments below if you enjoyed this kind of video, uh, if you art journal and what you like to use. And I'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for joining me. Take care.